Konnichiwa. Welcome to another intriguing tale from the annals of history. This is the one of the largest scandal of us history within the memory of living men. Nothing like it had ever happened before in American public life. In the early 1920s, Albert B. Fall, a secretary of the interior in Harding's cabinet, was entrusted with the leasing of government oil reserves at Elk Hill and Teapot Dome oil reserves that had been set aside for the future use of the Navy. Did Secretary Fall permit competitive bidding? No, sir. He handed the fat, juicy contract outright to his friend Edward L. Doheny. And what did Doheny do? He gave Secretary Fall what he was pleased to call a loan of $100,000. Then, in a high-handed manner, Secretary Fall ordered United States Marines into the district to drive off competitors whose adjacent wells were sapping oil out of the Elk Hill reserves. These competitors, driven off their ground at the ends of guns and bayonets, rushed into court and blew the lid off the teapot dome scandal. A stench arose so vile that it ruined the Harding administration, nauseated an entire nation, threatened to wreck the Republican Party, and put Albert B. Fall behind prison bars. Fall was condemned viciously condemned as few men in public life have ever been. Did he repent? Never. Years later Herbert Hoover intimated, in a public speech, that President Harding's death had been due to mental anxiety and worry because a friend had betrayed him. When Mrs. Fall heard that she sprang from her chair, she wept. She shook her fists at fate and screamed. What? Harding betrayed by fall? No, my husband never betrayed anyone. This whole house full of gold would not tempt my husband to do wrong. He is the one who has been betrayed and led to the slaughter and crucified. There you are, human nature in action, wrongdoers blaming everybody but themselves. We are all like that. So when you and I are tempted to criticize someone tomorrow, Let's remember Al Capone, Two Gun, Crowley, and Albert Fall. Let's realize that criticisms are like homing pigeons. They always return home. Let's realize that the person we are going to correct and condemn will probably justify himself or herself and condemn us in return.